more than a millennium ago. Nations were rising and falling around the world, and constant worry and chaos ensued. They were turbulent times. But what was happening in Japan? What was life like back then? Nara Prefecture, located in the center of Japan. Towards the middle of the prefecture lies Asuka. Today, the location of Asuka is in Kashihara City, Takatori Town, and Asuka Village. Around 1,400 years ago, it was the political and cultural nexus of Japan and many palaces were built here. It all began with a very small village. Japan at the time was called Wakoku, or the Land of Peace, as the nation formed, it adopted culture and technology from mainland China and the Korean Peninsula. In actual fact, many women were instrumental in this period of the nation's growth. Suiko, Kogyoku, later known as Saime, and Jito. These empresses made ardent efforts to develop the nation with Asuka as its focal point. Let's take a look at these trouble-filled times. In Asuka, the rain-making ritual called the Namode Odori dance is still being performed today. After Empress Suiko, the second Empress of Japan was Empress Kogyoku, who performed the rain-making ritual. This was approximately 1,400 years ago. There was a long drought in Asuka. The Soga clan, who were the men in power at the time, had performed the rainmaking rituals, but it did not rain. However, it is said that as soon as Empress Kogyoku performed the rituals, it rained for five days. One year after Emperor Jomei died, Princess Takara ascended the throne as Empress Kogoku in 642. She was 49 at the time. My role is to take after my husband, Emperor Jomei, and rule this country until the next emperor may ascend the throne.
When Empress Kogyoku ascended the throne during the middle of the 7th century, it was a time when the power of the Soga clan was at its peak. The father and son pair, Emishi and Iroka, were controlling the country as they saw fit, performing rituals only permitted to the imperial family. Even the clan of Prince Yamashiro, who opposed them, was wiped out by Iruka. <laughs> How dreadful! Is there nothing that can stop the Soga clan? Everyone thought that an age ruled by the Soga clan was near. However, one day, people were playing Kemati near Hokoji Temple. One of those people was the son of Empress Kogyoku, Prince Nakano Oe, who later became Emperor Tenji. The man that quietly approached him, Nakatomi no Kamatari, was secretly plotting to overthrow the Soga regime. This was when the two men who changed Japan first met. <laughs> The two learned about the state of affairs of the continent from Minamibuchi no Shohan, who was an envoy for the Chinese Sui dynasty, and were shocked by the riots in Sui and Korea. On June 12th, 6.45, their plan to destroy the Soga clan was carried out. Soga no Iruka was assassinated by Prince Nakano Oe's men, and the next day, Soga no Emishi committed suicide by setting fire to his residence. This was the moment when the once great Soga clan lost everything. This was later called the Ishii Incident. The Soga clan who controlled the politics has now fallen. Now is the crucial time for Japan to be born anew. The public must also know this. Although I will be breaking tradition, let me abdicate the throne. 
We will unite the country under a new emperor. Emperor Kotoku, who had just ascended the throne, transferred the capital to Naniwa no Miya Palace and set out to create an emperor-centric political system. This is called the Taika Reform. This is the Asuka Itabuki Palace ruins where the Ishii incident occurred. The Gorinto Tower is known as the Kubizuka or tomb of Sogono Iruka's head. It is said that the head of Sogono Iruka was buried here because it flew here after he was assassinated. The Tanzan Shrine of Asuka Inabuchi is where Nagatomi no Kamatari is enshrined. It is also called Katarayama and is said to be the place where he had many heated discussions about the future of Japan with Prince Nakano Oe. The tomb of their mentor, Minamibuchi no Shoan, is also here. As the situation in East Asia became heated, the aim of the Taika reform was to build a stronger country by using Tang China's Ditsuryo system as a building block. However, the Japanese political system at that time was still immature and the reform did not progress as expected. On top of this, Emperor Kotoku unexpectedly passed away. We cannot give up on the reform. It was Empress Kogyoku, who had previously given up the throne, that answered the call. Just beyond the sea, Sui has fallen. Bekje and Shilla continue to be at war with one another. What is important now is to stabilize the country and build up the nation's strength. This reform will decide the future of Japan. In 655, Empress Kogyoku once again ascended the throne as Empress Saime. This was the first time that the same person was enthroned twice. Empress Saime started a large-scale construction project using stone to make Asuka an international capital. She was no longer a shaman who quietly fulfilled her role. She was an empress who powerfully led her country to reform with the help of Prince Nakano Oe. The era of Empress Saime changed the landscape of Asuka greatly. To show the national strength of Japan, the Okamoto no Miya Palace and Gardens were constructed along with the state guest house to host messengers from China, Korea and Persia. Previously, the rule of the emperor did not reach the Emishi of Tohoku or the Hayato of southern Kyushu, but Empress Saime made them swear obedience and therefore built a stronger centralized administrative system. Dear Prince, do you know of the Rokoku from Tang China? Rokoku was a water clock made with state-of-the-art science and technology to notify the people of the time. To manage the time is to manage the people's livelihoods. We shall use both time and land to govern this country. A construction that would define this era was about to begin. A stone wall surrounding the palace was built at the summit and a canal to carry the stone was used for it. 100,000 people in total were requisitioned for this large project. The people called this canal Tabure Gokuro no Mizo, the canal of madness. I hear the cries of the people, but we must do this for our country.
This canal was built in such a way that it could be used as an irrigation canal or a moat if other countries attacked. In addition, it was discovered that the Sakafune Ishi ruins found near the palace was a sanctuary where Empress Saime prayed for the stability and prosperity of her nation. These were no simple civil engineering works. Empress Saime commissioned all of these and always with the future of Japan and the situation of East Asia in mind. There are many stone structures that were built during Empress Saime's era dotted around Osaka today. The uses for some of them are still unknown and people remain fascinated by them. This structure made of four stacked stones is said to have been an ancient fountain which was placed in the middle of a feast. The Saruishi, the monkey stone of Takatori Castle ruins, is presumed to be an object of worship, but this has not been confirmed. This stone statue, depicting a man with defined facial features, is called a Jinto Seki, or a capitation stone, and it is speculated to depict people from West Asia and Central Asia. The use of this huge stone structure has been a mystery for many years, but in recent years, there is a theory that it was a stone chamber for the Empress's burial, which was abandoned during construction. Empress Saime was Japan's second empress, who built a city of stone and water with her strong leadership, astonishing people from both in and outside the country. While East Asia was entering an era of upheaval, Empress Saime tried to overcome the effects of this by consolidating the foundation of Japanese politics and military. When she answered the call to fight against the Shilatong allied forces alongside her ally Bekje, she may have been strongly conscious of Japan within East Asia. Empress Saime died at the age of 68 in the distant land of Kyushu while on her way to what would later be known as the Battle of Baekgang. The mausoleum of Empress Saime is thought to be the Kuromagi Kenno Kofun Tumulus in Takatori town. However, with recent excavation surveys, it is said the Kengoshizuka Kofun Tumulus is more likely to be her mausoleum. In the Nihon Shoki, the Chronicles of Japan, it is stated that a demon was watching the funeral of Empress Saime. Perhaps it shows the people's dread towards Empress Saime. I will build a new Asuka and a new country. I'll do whatever it takes.